Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do November readings for all zodiac signs. Like I always say, um, these are general readings, so take what applies. If it applies, kick to the curb the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the description box below. If you want to learn tarot, I do have tarot card classes. There are five videos. They're $20 a piece, so you can learn at your own pace. Plus, there's a bonus video. And if you are interested in my mystery healing boxes, they make great gifts. Um, I'm sending them out this year in uh, gift certificates. So if you'd like to gift a friend a reading, we can put it in the box and send it to them. They have a nice keepsake and a great gift from you. Again, the uh, info will be in the box below. Give me a shout if you're interested. Not being said, this reading is going to be for Aries. Let's see what's shaking with you in November 2018. Aries, be very careful of the choices that you make. Make sure that they are the best by you and you alone. So let's get into this. At the bottom of the deck, Aries, you have the Pope, also known as the Hierophant, a.k.a. the Taurus card. Having faith, having hope, doing things in a traditional way, like, you know, textbook. Traditional or conventional. Just doing things the right way. As you see fit. So, Aries, let's see how that applies here. Let's get it. We're going to start off with two major arcanas. First one, Aries, is the world card. And the world card is about completing something. And closing it out so something new can come in. Like, I always said... That this is kind of like, you know, taking up the old things in your closet because you don't need them anymore. So you can have the brand new things that come in. Something ending. This is brand new avenues, brand new people, brand new opportunities. And what crosses you to help or hinder? Aries, you have the lovers, a.k.a. the Gemini card. But this is a soulmate connection, a bond. You can't compare it to anything else because there is nothing else like it. Now, some people might say they're soulmates. And there's all different types of soulmates, Aries. You know, the karmic ones you learn a lesson from, the life ones, you know, the friendships that you have, you know, forever and a day throughout your life. So, put it where it applies. But the other meaning of the card is a life-changing decision. If it has nothing to do with, you know, a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships. So Aries, something new wants to come in. It could be, you know, a connection with somebody that you've never felt with anyone else before. Or it's time to make a decision to find out where your life is going to go to bring in those new, you know, opportunities and avenues. In your foundation, Aries, you have the sun card, most positive card in the whole deck here. Also known as a Leo. But here's your happy, happy. You know, being a part of life and enjoying life and feeling, you know, exuberant and young again. And, you know, everything's coming up roses. And that being in the core here, Aries, the core of this reading here is your happiness. The things that make you happy. Now, Aries, happiness is not a person. You know, it's not a place. You know, if it was, we all be, you know, vacationing there. Happiness is a condition. You know, and when you condition yourself, Aries, you know, to make yourself happy. To make happiness your goal. I think things will go a lot smoother for you. Now, what's crowning your whole reading here, Aries, is that you have... 
I believe it's the nine of wands. Nine. Excuse me. Seven. Okay. The seven of wands is a defensive energy. You know, it's like this person's on higher ground. They can back up what they say. Can the other six wands? Aries, maybe you feel like you have to fight for your happiness. You know, not be swayed by everybody else's opinion. Aries, maybe you fight for this connection. Because you want something new. You want something real. But something needs to end first before it comes in. Aries, maybe you have to make room for a different way of thinking. A different way of looking at things. A different perspective. And maybe that's what opens up all the doors for you. Because in your recent past, Aries, you have the Seven of Cups. Now, this is all about choices here, options. I'm using the medieval cat tarot. And not only, you know, is it about options and choices, pretty good ones. But he's dreaming about the possibilities. Aries, the possibilities when you bring in something new. Embark on something new. Maybe an old way of doing things and, you know, brings this in. Now, Aries, you might be seeing, you know, visions or you might be getting, you know, messages in your dreams. The universe trying to tell you something. Aries, I just get a feeling that maybe you were doing something, you know, for a long time. And maybe you need to feel more alive again, more bonded, maybe. A better connection, I feel. Kateris, you know, you're the fire sign. You have passion. You have drive. You have creativity. You know, and if something gets stagnant with a fire sign, you know, they want to take that action, you know, to change it. Because they always like to stay in motion. And if you're fighting to keep something the same way, Aries. Brand new avenues. Brand new opportunities. This could be, you know, travel. Brand new places to see. Because you have those choices. Aries, you're going to have those options. Find out which one really, you know, grinds your gears. Something that does make you passionate. Something that does make you, you know, exuberant. Brings back your, your happy. Now, Aries, going into the future, we have the tower. Now, the tower comes out of left field. Right? Never see it coming. Blows your mind. And the reasoning of the tower is that, you know, if something's built on faulty foundation, the universe comes in, blows it apart, so something new can be built upon it. Restructuring a uh, relationship, restructuring, you know, just, you know, strategic, I feel. You know, putting something into motion, something new. Now, Aries, a lot of times that, you know, we get ourselves in situations that we know they're not good for us. But they seem to work. You know, everybody else is happy with it. So you stay in it. That's when the universe turns around and says, huh, hello, Aries, not today and not anymore. Bam. Something puts you in a new direction. Aries. This very well could be a relationship, some sort of friendship, a partnership, you know, love ship, one of those ships. Where something gives you that reality check. Or someone. 
and it makes you feel like you've never felt before. Aries, that's how you know that's a soulmate connection. Now, again, it could be a life, a karmic, you know, any one of those soulmates. But when you meet a soulmate, it's, you know, not just a random person. Hey, how you doing? You know, call me. No. This goes deep. Now, how people see you in your environment. Aries, they see you as a knight of coins. Now, granted, he's the slowest one out of all of them. But he's practical, methodical. He's got his act together. All the I's are dot, dotted. All the T's are crossed. When he brings it, he brings it. It's solid. It's real. You know, coins come from the suit of uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But more so, he's a messenger. He's a messenger of the see, hear, taste, touch, prove things. He's a messenger of the things that have worth and value. Now, Aries, people are looking at you like this. Like you're coming, eventually. But you're coming with something that's real. Something that can be believed in. Now, what's in your environment? Aries, you've got the Ten of Cups. Ride that unicorn, right? Here's your happy, happy. You know, wife's great, girlfriend's fine. Husband, boyfriend, couldn't be better. Got lucky charms coming out all over the place. But you have your happy, happy. You have something very positive, something very emotionally fulfilling. And again, Aries, it could be that one person that makes you feel like you've never felt before. And boom, all of a sudden, you know, it hits you. How important this one person could be to you. Now, in your hopes and fears, Aries, you have the Knight of Coins. Knight. I just said that. King. Spit it out. Here's your Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who takes on these properties. This is somebody who is grounded, practical, methodical. They like to have the material things, but they appreciate the hard work that goes into acquiring them. They're grounded. They're practical. They see things for how it really is. Aries, maybe you're hoping that what you're going through, this happiness, is real. That's not fake. It's not a facade. Oh, Aries, it's real. It's real. Pinch yourself. It's real. If you want to offer something to someone in a friendship, partnership, loveship, because you feel that connection, it's a connection like no other. Aries, your outcome card is judgment. Now, this is hearing the call, rising up from the ashes. A second go at something, sure. You know, a reconnection, a reconciliation could be. Maybe, you know, Aries, that you meet somebody and you feel like, you know, you've known them forever in a day. Don't wait on this. Aries, bring in that new opportunity. Clear out the old. Go after your happy. Unicorns and all. It's up to you to make that call, Aries. So invite it in your life. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.